Our next scenario will get us the rest of the code coverage. This time, we want to create a lead with multiple dupe contact matches. Let's do two. Our test class begins with no data. So the first thing I'll do is create two contacts and fill in the required fields. I want them to have the same email address too. Instead of typing out the same email address multiple times, I'll just store it in a variable and reuse it. Less chance of human error. I can write two insert statements for each contact, but it's better to do one insert statement on a list instead. Something minor like this really has no impact on the effectiveness of this test class, but it's a good practice to get in the habit of. Okay, now we have our contacts. Time to create our matching lead. I'll create a lead with the same email address and make sure to populate other important fields such as owner and description. Now that all our data is created, it's time to make our assertions. We're gonna assert that our lead owner is the data quality queue and our description contains our dupe contact IDs. So in my query, I know we need our owner ID and description field. Time for the assertions. First one is that our lead owner ID is the data quality queue ID. We actually don't know what our data quality queue ID is, so we need to query that too. Queues are one of those special objects that exist in test classes, even though most other data needs to be created from scratch. Salesforce considers queues to be more of a configuration than data. Once we have our queue ID, we can finish our assertion. Next assertion, our lead description needs to contain both our contact IDs. I'll separate this out into two separate assertions, one for each contact. For our expected description, I could go through all the work of constructing an exact description match as our trigger did, but that's not that important. I just wanna make sure our description contains our contact IDs. There's another type of assertion that's helpful here and it's system.assert. Instead of checking for a quality of two values, system.assert just checks to see if a statement is true. So for my statement, I'll use the contains.notation method to see if our description contains our first contact's ID. Then. I'll repeat this for our second contact. And now our entire test class is done. Let's make sure it works. After running this test, we see that both of our scenarios passed and we have 100% code coverage. Good job. Just so you know what it looks like when you do get errors, let me update our assertion to something that I know will fail. We'll run our test again and here it is we get a very specific failure message that tells us what we expected, what the actual outcome was, and what line of code our assertion is on. Once we deploy the fixed version of this test class, these two scenarios will become commandments in our org. No one will be able to deploy anything that breaks our assertions. Excellent.